a lovely shell to add to your collection, Rupert. The last resident forgot to clean up his room before going out. Hmm, like someone else I know. <laughs> <laughs> This one's a real beauty. It is beautiful, isn't it? Ah, but it pales in comparison to you, Mrs. Bear. Captain Vinnacle! Ahoy there, Captain. It's good to see you again. Aye, and that goes double for me. Always a welcome sight to see friends haul into port for a holiday. I was just about to take old Betsy here for a tour of Rocky Bay, but I fear I'm in need of a first mate. Ahoy the lookout! Did you spy any pirates a lurking on the horizon? All clear, Captain! Nothing but. Strange? I can't remember seeing that island before. <laughs> now, Rupert, stop trying to pull the mainsail over me eyes. You know, there aren't any islands along this stretch of coast. Sufferin' Scrimshaw! An island it is! Now, what in the name of Davy Jones is it doing there all of a sudden? Do you suppose an earthquake might have broken away part of the coastline? Hey! Put that back! A vast ye scurvy! Neat the limpets! What's a young lad doing swimming out so far from shore? I'm sorry. You see, the shell belongs to me. I lost it and I just have to get it back. I wish you'd asked for it back on the beach. It would have saved you a lot of trouble. Aye, and been a fair sight safer. Now let's get you aboard before. He's a mer boy. I've heard many a tale of such a thing, but I. Well, now you've seen one, tale and all. My name is Finian. I'm Rupert, and this is my friend Captain Binnacle. Thank you, Rupert. I'd have been in big trouble if this had fallen into the hands of a top worlder. These shells are very special and. Whoa! What's the matter? Oh, Finian, it's terrible! A fearsome creature has come to Rocky Bay, breathing lightning and destroying the reef! Flee while you can! Flee! It's not like Kira to be a scaredy catfish. What could be going on out there? Maybe it has something to do with... That's odd. I'm almost certain the island has moved since the last time I looked. Helmsman, bring us about. We'll get to the bottom of this or I'm a land lover. Wait for me! We'll go ashore and take a look around. I'll check things out below. <sighs> Jumpin' jellyfish! Captain Binnacle! Over here! I've been on my share of islands, Rupert, but never one with a spiral staircase. It's a disguised ship. I don't call it a ship, Rupert. This here contraption taint nothing but a bilious, blustering, foul-smelling, overgrown motorboat. A ship would have no need for all this huffing and blowing. Bah! Give me a full sheet of sail and a strong westerly breeze any day. Sunken treasures of the seven seas. Hidden gold of the Spanish galleons. The lost armada. Someone is obviously doing more than just reading about sunken treasure. Aye, and I'll wager those X's mark the areas they've already searched. Captain, look! Maybe he needs help! Hold your seahorses there, lad! Looks to me like those two are working together. how they do it. They're using a giant underwater vacuum cleaner to suck up treasure. Looks like the plundering sea dogs are coming aboard. We'd best make ourselves scarce, Rupert. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll give you a hand. If I had hands, that is. <laughs> that is the last time I come to your rescue, you bungling sea snake. Sir Humphrey! Sir Humphrey who? Humphrey Pumphrey. We've crossed paths before. I warn you, Snipe. Next time I leave you for the sharks. Sorry, Skipper, but it ain't easy, you know. 
It couldn't be simpler. Left, right. Got it? Left, right, uh, left, uh, right, left, right. Oh, simple, he says. Mm, worthless junk. Back to work, Snipe, and no more foul ups. Aye, aye, Commodore. There are galleons full of gold out there somewhere, and I'll find them if I have to use my sonic ray to pulverize every inch of rock and coral in the seven seas. A sonic ray? Sounds like a dastardly rig if there ever was one. later, my annoying little friend. But first, I must see about the catch of the day. <laughs> Yo! Got him, Skipper. Could have done it with my hands behind my back. That is, if I had any. <laughs> I've captured a mermaid. I am not a mermaid. I'm a mer boy. You'll be sorry when King Neptune finds out what you're up to, and you'll be even sorrier! Ha 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 ha! King Neptune, the mythical ruler of the Seven Seas? Surely you don't expect me to believe in such a fairy tale? Shows you how much you know! King Neptune's palace is hidden in deep waters not far from this very spot! You mean, we've been poking around in Neptune's backyard? Hmm. Then again, I thought mermaids were mythical, too. I told you, I'm a mer boy! Snipe, pack up the vacuum and prepare to get underway. Aye, aye, Captain Courageous. Good idea. Why stick around here when there's six other seas to choose from? <laughs> we are not running away, you spineless worm. Since we're in the neighborhood, I think it would only be polite to pay King Neptune a visit, don't you? What? If only we had a polar... Captain, your spyglass! I can see the button just fine, Rupert. What a barnacle brain I've been. Lucky for me, I shipped out with such a clever first mate. You won't get away with this. No one can match King Neptune's power. <laughs> That's only because no one has ever come knocking at his palace gates with a weapon as powerful as my sonic ray. We'll see what the Coast Guard has to say about that, Sir Humphrey. What? How did you get out? You'll never catch us, you land-loving tub of lard! Looks like the wind is out of your sails, Sir Huff and Puffer. I'll show you. Thinks he'll get away, does he? We'll see about that, Captain Fish Food. <laughs> Captain, are you all right? 
Aye, but I'm afraid that scurvy pirate has sent old Betsy to Davy Jones' locker. Rupert, we've got to warn King Neptune about Pumphrey's ray gun. Off with ye, lads. I'll see what I can do to scuttle this devilish tub. What? Snipe! You're letting them get away, you incompetent eel! No! He spotted us! Quick, Rupert! In here! <laughs> Neptune's riches are as good as mine! If only there was another ship about, I could send an SOS. Ugh. It'll take forever to move all these rocks. Maybe there's another way out. Augie? <laughs> meet my friend Rupert. Pleased to meet you, Augie. Sorry, can't be too careful with top worlders, you know. Augie, we have to deliver an important message to King Neptune. Do you think you can get us out of here? Nothing easier. Figures, never any help around when you need it. A fast. Ah! Oof! <laughs> A periscope. <laughs> it's time to pull the wool over his eyes. That ocean trench is the only spot on this entire area deep enough to hide a palace. Soon, Neptune will be up to his gills in rubble, and I will be up to my ears in treasure. <laughs> now what? Snipe? Get up there and clear the periscope this instant! I'd like to oblige, Captain, but I'm a couple of feet short to fill such a tall order, if you see my meaning. <laughs> well done, Augie! I'm always willing to lend a friend a hand. Or eight. Let's get going, Rupert. No time to lose. A manta ray! Amazing! Hold tight. You're in for the ride of your life. Head examined for hiring that lazy lump of an eel. Now, how to throw a monkey wrench into the works? Ah! No? So it's a battle ye be wanting, ye scurvy piece of tin. I'll show ye. Stand still, ye big steel lily livered. <laughs> so. Given up, are ye? There's nothing here. Ah, worthless chart. Just as well if you ask me, Skipper. No point tangling with Neptune if it ain't necessary. I'll make sure this tub ain't go nowhere. Confounded <laughs> machine. We're here. Uh-oh, there's Sir Humphrey. That greedy top worlder is almost sitting on top of his treasure and he doesn't even know it. I'm going to find that palace if it means searching every inch of this seafloor on our hands and knees. Guess that counts me out, eh, Skipper? <gasps> What's that? My two little troublemakers seem to have squeezed out of their tight spot. And what might you be up to, I wonder? <laughs> There's a light coming from down below. Better shield your eyes, Rupert. 
There is only one like it in all the Seven Seas. Without the light of the special pearl, it wouldn't be possible to keep King Neptune's marvelous treasures hidden from greedy top worlders like Sir Humphrey. Halt! <gasps> Who dares bring a top worlder here? I'm Finian, and this is my friend Rupert. We must see King Neptune at once. Impossible. But Lord Chamberlain, we have urgent news. You're all in terrible danger. Still impossible, I fear. My Lord Neptune is at present on a royal tour of his domains in the South Seas. Oh, no! My ultrasonic imager will show me what lies beneath those weeds. They just went into the weeds to hide. Probably has nothing to do with Neptune's... Aha! Alice. <laughs> How splendidly clever I am. Enhance the image. <laughs> Doubloons, jewels, treasures of all kinds. <gasps> Magnificent. A gigantic pearl. It must be priceless. The eighth wonder of the world. Now, Admiral, we shouldn't be too hasty. Whoa! Get ready with the vacuum slide. I'm rich. A rich beyond all imagining. <laughs> I know Sir Humphrey. He won't think twice about turning this beautiful palace to rubble. Well, I'm sure there's no need to worry. After all, no top worlder has ever found the secret palace, and I'll bet my last periwinkle none ever. Whoa! No! No! He's going for the pearl! And it's all mine. Let's get out of here, Admiral. They'll be on our tails in no time. Take that, you blustering tin can. There's no way you'll work now. Why, you no good tin pile of rusty swans. Ah! He's getting away. Oh, no binnacle. Don't tell me you've improved the engines by mistake. <laughs> Looks like the luck of Jonah might be with me after all. She's about to bust her guts. They're too fast. Even Manta can. Now, to finish who? I knew he'd think of something. Ruin! But what? No! Avast, ye swab, you'll be the next thing I goes to work on. Uh-oh. That must be the pearl. Let's go! Say, it ain't polite to take things without asking. Come back here, you uh. to retrieve. Abandoned ship here, boat here, island, whatever! He's gaining on us! Time to take care of that meddling bear once and for all.
You bungling sea worm! This is all your fault! Sorry, Commodore, but you should have known better than to follow my directions! King Neptune will see to a proper punishment for those two, and a proper reward for our three heroes! Yay! Congratulations, Rupert! You're the first top worlder to be allowed to wear one of King Neptune's special shells! It's an honor, Finian! And congratulations on your promotion to Palace Guard. Aye, King Neptune was downright generous he was. But something tells me that my reward is going to raise more eyebrows around Rocky Bay than that mystery island ever did. Look on the bright side, Captain. At least it doesn't have an engine. <laughs> <laughs>